the royal family kicked off Ladies' Day at Ascot in spectacular style with the traditional carriage procession on Thursday. The Queen, resplendent in pink, led royals including Princess Anne, the Duke of York and his daughters Beatrice and Eugenie shortly after 2 p.m. as she arrived for her third day in a row at the equestrian event. However, disaster struck shortly afterwards when a member of the royal procession suffered a nasty fall. It is not clear if he was harmed. However images show the footman appearing to get back on his feet moments later. There is some £7 million up for grabs at this year's races, making it a bumper year, and the royals have been taking part in the betting fun, despite the Countess of Wessex losing out yesterday when three of her horses failed to come in. The royal procession is an annual tradition and marks the start of the day's festivities, with the first fixture typically getting underway just after 2 p.m. This year the Queen was joined in her Landau by Prince Andrew, Sheikh Issa bin Salman Al Khalifa Sir Nicholas Bacon, with the second carriage playing host to Princess Royal Anne, her husband Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, and Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie. The Queen made her entrance in a Stuart Parvin pink A-line coat, silk dress in shades of lilac and pink and a matching hat by Rachel Trevor Morgan. Her bright pink hat meant punters had correctly backed the color of the head of state's hat for the third day running. A traditional bet at Royal Ascot, Eugenie, who will tie the knot at Windsor Castle in October, wore a blue and yellow order number featuring a pie crust collar, while her older sister opted for a monochrome ensemble from Jonathan Simkai. Both of Prince Andrew's daughters wore millinery from Edinburgh-based milliner Sally Ann Proven, with Beatrice in a herringbone hat with satin roses, and Eugenie in a straw boater festooned with origami flowers. Meanwhile, the Queen pulled out all the stops in her vibrant pink tweed coat and matching hat trimmed with feathers, teamed with a glittering brooch, string of pearls and a pair of delicate white gloves. The term Ladies' Day was coined in 1823 when an anonymous poet described the Thursday of the annual meeting as Ladies' Day when the women, like angels, look sweetly divine. While there is no official prize on offer for best dress lady as there is at other race meetings, ticket holders were still eager to put their best foot forward. Up to 300,000 people are due to descend on the event over the course of five days and naturally the stylish day out as a magnet for celebrities, and is predicted to be a star-studded occasion, with a clue in the name. Royal Ascot is hugely popular with the monarchy and Her Majesty has attended every year since ascending the throne.